I wasn't going to record this, but I feel like the world needs to know. The key to doing this is you have to cont continuously stir this up. No matter if it's my grandma or mom or any whoever's watching me, they always say, don't do that. You don't need to keep stirring them like that. But this is the best way. I don't care what anyone else says. I'm going to go through the whole thing just because. And the only real annoying part to me is if you accidentally hit the edge of the pod, it's like it gets stuck to there. And I think I'm losing eggs, but yeah. And you also have to clean it off if you let it dry. But I like to chop these up with my spatula the whole entire time. It just doesn't taste right if I don't. And I need my dominant hand. Once again, you can skip to the workout if you don't really care about me making my pre-workout meal. But I think the world needs to see this if you eat eggs regularly. I like to flip these over and over and over. For some reason, I feel like some kind of juice is getting trapped if you just leave it all together and you don't chop it up. And it doesn't create for a pleasurable experience to me. I know somebody's looking like this kid is obnoxious, but hey, I enjoy eating, so I gotta be just right. And this is the conclusion of these beautiful eggs. Let me try to get this all in the bowl. Uh, make sure you wash those dishes too, or don't wash them. That's for hippies. Make sure you uh, rinse off this so it doesn't burn the house down. But, uh, that's about it. it. May look disgusting to some, but I think that's a beautiful sight there. I apologize in advance, but there were a shitload of people in the gym today. So today, um, I got a decent workout, but I didn't get to record all of my sets. And I have a massive headache.
Hello YouTube, that's all I have for today. Make sure you check out the recipe video if you'd like to see how to make this post-workout shake. That's all I have.